Hello everybody, my name is Yao Boysen and then welcome to our YouTube channel again. So today I talk to you about my experience traveling to the Kakum National Park and then Elmina Castle with Kelvin Danso and then Samuel Opon of the Austrian national team. So on that very day, we left a bit early and then on our way, there was this Catholic church, this old Catholic church. So we stopped by the place and then we decided to take a couple of images. And then there was this old man that pulled up and he was like, you know, this is an old Catholic church and you can't take images here and all of that. And he was really not making sense because the church was almost being destroyed and people are trying to make memories with the place and then you are saying you can't be here because it's an old church and then that was just what he was saying and he was going to call the town guys to come attack us because we are not from the place we don't know the history of the church and then we are taking images and he wasn't just making sense i mean to me it was all like i understood him to me i understood him but to kelvin and then Samuel, he came to them as a cultural shock because they didn't understand why something was actually being demolished and we are trying to make memories with it and then you are trying to call people to come attack us because we are just taking images so to them it came as a cultural shock and then i mean after taking a couple of images we decided to leave the place and then head to kakum so when we got to kakum well kakum was cool kakum was okay just that the stereotype with the whole high thingy really doesn't work for me and then kelvin and someone because we were able to do all the rounds and then none of us got that fear of the height thingy because, well, I don't know, I don't think it's that high enough. Personally, I don't think it's that high enough. So when we got to Kakum, when we were on the canopy, <laughs> someone brought up an idea. I was like, you know what, this thing has been here for a while. Let's test to see if it's still strong. And I was like, ah, Sami, what did they talk about? So, you know, like Charlie could try jump, then see if it's still strong as they say. And then, funny enough, we just started, you know, trying to bounce on the thing because <laughs> I mean, they were young, like around my age mid, so it was just a vibe the entire period. So after trying to bounce in the canopy, we realized, oh, it was so strong, and then we bounced. So we left Kakum National Forest, and then we headed to Elmina Castle. Well, ah, uh, the place was okay, the place was cool. Personally, I don't think there was much to see around. There was these guys who were boggling lights were um, some random artworks that they wanted us to buy, but I mean, they weren't asking for enough, but none of us actually wanted it, because... We didn't need it at that point. So we were there for a while. I mean, you could see the emotions on their faces when they heard all the stories about the slave trade and then the gate of no return. Well, it was an experience for them. Personally, I didn't feel any emotions. So yeah, it was an experience for them. And then I respect that. So from there, we went to Konot Grove. We had lunch and then we returned back to Accra. That was all that happened for the day. For me, the working experience was great because these were guys who were around like my age range and then the vibe was okay like it was just an environment where you just have to like settle in like you just have to feel at home you just have to be you and it was like a boys boy setting there was nothing like oh we did no it was like just a boys boy setting and i would really love to have that experience with them again hopefully and maybe next day they come around and then we still do it again so stay tuned and then subscribe to the youtube channel i'll bring you more episodes on this story